Welcome back to Michael's Kitchen, and today we have pasta a la norteña. We went out to one of the restaurants here in Jack's, and in my opinion, the best restaurant in Jacksonville so far. We, we try a lot of restaurants, but it was Restaurant Orse, and Triple M had a lamb ragu, which is where we got the idea for our, our rustic ragu that we did, mm -hmm. and she really likes that we made it. And I had this pasta norteña, and I'm going to try it. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Can't be scared. So what do we need for this pasta norteña? First of all, we got some medium-sized shells. I got half a white yellow onion diced. I got a quarter of a stick of cream cheese softened. Four cloves of garlic, babe. Oh, it's garlic in the house. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg, ground nutmeg. Uh, about a, a half a pound of diced portobello mushrooms. A cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. A pound of mild Italian sausage that I'm gonna brown up. Some pecorino romano that I'm gonna fresh grind, salt, pepper, and you guys know in my Italian dishes, I tend to lean towards the dry vermouth versus a cup of white wine. I, I think it brings more flavor to the party, and we're not wine drinkers, but I am vermouth drinkers. <laughs> so we'll get this ready. We'll ho hopefully come, come, come together really quick, and we'll be enjoying a meal here shortly. Carolyn, get excited. Off to the races. I'm gonna get about a tablespoon of olive oil into my preheated skillet. I'm gonna add in this sausage to brown off. Goal is to brown that off and then we'll go to our next steps. So I got my sausage going, hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. In the other half of the pan, I'm gonna add some more olive oil. And I'm gonna add the mushrooms. I'm gonna let these get some color and let the moisture out and we're almost to our next steps. So far it's fast. While I'm here, because I know this is gonna come together fast, like our other pasta, we had to wait eight minutes for this to... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna add in my pasta to this pot and let it go for nine minutes and it'll be al dente. I want to make sure I show this step. I broke up all the sausage and you see the liquid that came out of the mushrooms? Uh -huh. When it dries up again, that's when I just want to stir it up. So break up all your sausage, let the liquid come out of the mushrooms and then we'll, we'll be ready to brown. Probably why people don't like mushrooms because they don't have them cooked the right way. Because Triple M's not a fan. Well, I'm not a fan. But when I make them, she eats yeah, whatever. I, I still get them out of that plate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back when this is browned. The mushrooms are, have, are browning out. Can you see the color in there? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the onions. And my goal is to get them softened. Not brown, softened. And now I'm gonna incorporate it all because I wanna meld all the flavors. Mushroom, sausage, That's onion, good. it smells already yeah. good. And she wasn't hungry. No, I really wasn't, I'm not hungry. When they're, when they're softened, you'll see what we do next. Been sauteing for a few minutes. Look at the color on that. Onions have gotten soft. I'm gonna add in my garlic here. And you let this go until the garlic becomes fragrant and then incorporate it in. It smells good. You can smell the garlic, so get that incorporated in here. It smells good. Now time to deglaze with our dry vermouth. I'm gonna probably put in, I don't know, a couple of shots. Michael's shots. Let that deglaze. You pick up all the yum yum. Already smells phenomenal. Cook off all the alcohol, burn it off. I just want the flavor. This step, I'm going to add in my cream cheese and get that melted in. Going after a creamy dish here. and then add in my cup and a half of room temperature cream. I'm 
Now I'm gonna let that go until it bubbles a little bit and then reduce the heat down to low. Just let it simmer. I think right now I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And again, I'm gonna let this simmer and we're almost, we're almost ready. That's why the pasta's gonna be done here in a minute. We're gonna incorporate our dish. As I said, I was waiting for it to bubble up. Now I'm gonna let this simmer, at which point I'm gonna add in my nutmeg. Not a lot, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna taste like eggnog. Just bring a little surprise to people say, mmm, what's in that? And Carol's gonna say, I know it's nutmeg, because <laughs> she saw the video. As always, Michael's Kitchen, we forget something. Got the Parmesan cheese, like we're in Olive Garden. Can never have too much parm, right? Well, the more the better. Smells good. Get that stirred in. And we're almost there. All right, we're there. I'm gonna pull this off the heat because we don't like dry pasta, right? No. I'm gonna get my spider here and incorporate this al dente pasta. <laughs> Triple M is a fan of al dente. No. <laughs> and incorporate this in the sauce. How's it smelling here? Delicious. And how quick was this? Not even 20 minutes. <laughs> Took me longer to get set up yeah. than it was to make the sauce. Literally. Actually, nine minutes for the pasta and I'm done. Now I'll go ahead and get this stirred in. And we always reserve the, the pasta water, why? In case it, it gets dry, the sauce. You can always loosen it up. Because I like really saucy. <laughs> I think, you know what time it is? Time to taste. Before I forget, because I know I'm gonna need something, right? Time to taste. Get in some sauce, some of the sausage, the cream. Looks good. And she always says, you taste it while it's hot. It's okay. That is a winner. <laughs> no, that is a winner. I know she's not gonna come, but you wanna taste? It's delicious. That's good, and it tastes like it has wine. <laughs> that dry vermouth, trick of the century. Guys, if you like the video. Like the video. Comment down below if there's anything you wanna try and make, and subscribe for more. That said, I went there. See you guys next Friday if we're not late. <laughs> Bye guys. You know what it needs? More cheese. I'll put more cheese. And red pepper flake. Oh no, I, I don't need that. Cheese and red pepper flake. Bye guys.